Did everything go all right, Layman? Yeah, after I told him to slow the f down. So Dude, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to CG Off-Road. This is the third part of our Raptor build series where we're trying to see if we can make a regular F-150 look and perform like a Raptor. We've already gone over the looks. We did a ton of Raptor styling to our F-150 to make it look a whole lot more aggressive. And we've shown you how much power the truck can make comparing it to the Raptor. But now we brought them to their natural habitat. Exactly, yeah, we're off-road now. And I think the real test for these Raptor and Raptor lookalike is going to be to see how it performs out on the trail. Not really on a hard, crazy trail, because these Raptors aren't really meant to go articulate and rock climb. Yeah. They, do, they do have long travel suspension, yeah. but it's not like your rock crawling Jeep. It's not like a Jeep. It's long travel for whoops and for just go fast and go over some stuff, you know, some bumps, things like that. Yeah. So we got a couple little paths here that I think we can get some speed on yeah. and maybe hit some whoops and see kind of how the trucks perform and maybe go back and forth. Yeah. Before we take these trucks out on the trail, why don't I show you what we've done to this truck to see if we can make it handle like a Raptor off-road. So we haven't done anything super crazy to this truck, but we did make it better than factory. One of the first things we actually did was a Fox suspension kit. So up front, we have a Fox coilover kit, which gave it a two inch level so it could fit 33 inch tires. Then we also have Fox shocks in the rear, which will make it a little bit softer off-road to handle those bumps. It won't be as good as the Raptor. It doesn't have long travel suspension like the Raptor does, but it's certainly better than factory and I can't wait to see what it's like out on the trail. Raptor, six inch lift, enough said. So our other cameraman is trying to get set up. <laughs> I like what you're doing. So Layman was trying to mess with the camera settings and Matt kept hitting the gas and slamming on the brakes, hitting the gas and slamming on the brakes. So he... Yeah, I can tell you as a cameraman, <laughs> it's really easy to do all that stuff. You're going yeah. down. It's not really competition, but you're still going down. So to get a good comparison, we're at this mountainous area with a trail that goes up the mountain and down the other side. Um, I'm in the F-150, Matt's in the Raptor. We're gonna drive up to the top and you know we're gonna get a feel for the vehicles on the way up. And then we're gonna switch, I'll get in the Raptor, he'll get in this. And that'll give us a good idea of a comparison between the two and we'll have our final thoughts at the end. But I'm not expecting the F-150 to be better than the Raptor. I'm just hoping that it's good or at least comparable to it um you know i think this fox suspension is really good that we put on it but like this like i said earlier this doesn't have the long travel suspension the raptor does um but these shocks are pretty good so we'll see how she does all right so i'm pretty excited to be able to drive the raptor this has got a six inch fabtech lift on it i've got the traction control off and i've got it in the tow haul mode which actually shifts a little bit sooner and we're just gonna you know, go down this trail, hit it a little bit quicker, see how it does. Honestly, the front suspension of this thing is super soft. Even with the lift kit, it's supposed to be soft to handle those bumps. Plus the interior is just unbelievably comfortable. I got the AC seats on. So the Raptor's kind of natural habitat is taking rough, rocky roads and whoops like this at a higher speed. So that's what we'll try to do. It's not a rock crawling monster or anything like that. So we'll try to do what the Raptor was made to do. Now we're going to go up an uphill, see how she does. All right, can you hold the f on for two seconds? What's up? What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Any thoughts you want to talk about there? I mean, so far it's pretty good. Like we're hitting some rough stuff, but I feel really in control and it's not as rough or extreme as um, I was thinking. So, I mean, I think it's doing pretty good. What do you think as a cameraman? <laughs> uh, uh, it's bumpy as I mean, like it is bumpy, but like it's feeling really yeah. good. Yeah. Like it's not like jarring or anything. No. Like this is fun. This is actually fun and it's not like I just can't believe how fast we're going for what we're having to go over, you know? Yeah, we're doing like 40 miles an hour right now, and this is doing really good. It's absorbing a lot of these whoops better than I thought it would. Don't try this at home. This is just a fun truck. Jeez. <laughs> Everything's going everywhere, huh? <laughs> okay. And that's the top of the mountain. I'm actually really happy with this. And we do have 33 inch tires, but they're, they don't have that much of a sidewall. Like for a larger tire, 
they're pretty low profile. So even when considering that, that was really good. I'm really happy with that actually. Definitely pleased with that performance. I was expecting it to be a little bit more harsh, but it was actually really good. Those Fox shocks really uh, softened it up and absorbed all that crap. Let's swap them down there. Yeah. How fast did you go up? 40. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> My back end was bouncing. This was fun. Like, this truck did really good. Yeah? Yeah. All right, well, we'll did everything go all right, Layman? Yeah, after I told him to slow the <laughs> down. So Dude, he's like... Oh, like <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I am now in the Raptor. We're going to go back down the mountain the same way that we came, and uh, I'll see how this thing does. Yeah, this thing makes a lot more power. Holy crap! <laughs> so far, I think this thing is a little stiffer. I think this might be a little bit more aggressive off-road. <laughs> it handles pretty well, surprisingly. I'll tell you this much, I think the Red F-150 has a lot more power. This thing is cooking. You touch the gas and you're spinning the tires. And we've still got a mud train on here too, so you're, we're hooking up, but it's just, man, this thing is wicked. More water. I mean, it's still an absolutely amazing truck, but I feel like, I think I had more confidence and more sense of control with the F-150. I wonder what Matt will have to say about the F-150 now that he's in it. It's a, it's such a weird feeling. Like I can feel that 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 front suspension has more travel, but at the same time, I just feel like I'm feeling a lot more. I'm feeling every little rock, and it's just more jarring in here than the F-150 was. It's really weird. Does that mean maybe we built the ultimate F-150 turbo kit, Fox suspension? It's a hell of a truck. I'm a little conflicted with how I feel about this. I know the Raptor is an amazing truck. It's got that long travel suspension, which you could definitely feel that going up and down this trail. Yep. The seats in the Raptor were more comfortable. Like I enjoyed sitting in those seats more, but I felt like the overall experience, I enjoyed it more in the F-150. I felt like the suspension was a little bit softer and it wasn't so aggressive. Yeah. Even though it didn't have the travel, it, it's just weird, but I enjoyed the experience more in this truck. Well, here's the thing. So the F-150 is a little bit narrower too, right? Yeah. So it's kind of a smaller vehicle. I enjoyed, I'll be honest, I enjoyed the F-150 because of the power. Yes. When you mashed on the gas in the F-150, you were spinning. I mean, it made a lot of power. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the Raptor made good power too. It's on a bigger tire, so a 37 compared to a 33. This thing is just a big behemoth. I yeah. mean, you feel everything. You can kind of feel some vibrations, yeah. but the seats are more comfortable. There's AC in the seats built in. Yep. The F-150, you get more of a softer ride, I would say, yeah. but in the off-roader, you get a harder ride, which is kind of what you want in an off-road machine. You want to yeah. feel where you're going in that. But to be honest, I, I would take the F-150 out on the trail more. I'm going to agree. Like it was overall a more enjoyable experience in this truck. And we got to drive both too. And that's not just because we built this one to be like a Raptor. Like I thought this was gonna well outperform the F-150 no matter how much money you threw at it. Yeah. And this isn't even the top of the line suspension. I mean, you can go way higher, you can yeah. go long travel. This is just a, what is it, an inch and a half or two inch lift? Two inch level up front. Yeah, and the Fox coilovers just absorb it all, it's yep. crazy. Okay guys, so we've shown you how to make your F-150 look, perform, and handle like a Raptor. Now you may not want to do everything that we did to our F-150, but these are all options that you have if you want to make your F-150 that much better. And everything that we've used in these videos can be found right here at cjponyparts.com. And if you want to see the latest and greatest in off-road content, make sure you subscribe to our CJ Off-Road YouTube channel. Until next time, Freddie and I, we'll see you out on the trail. Good layman. Yeah, I'm good. Think we can jump this bridge, layman? Uh, I don't think so. No? No, I do not. And I'm gonna just say we shouldn't.